Julian's bike needed a new fork, so I had to convert the headset from threaded to threadless. Keep watching, and I'll show you how I did it. So what you're seeing here is the headset that I've put together roughly. I didn't really clean anything or whatever. I just wanted to make sure that everything fit. So for simplicity's sake, what I'm gonna do is just take it apart, clean it, grease it, and put it back together and show you how to do it. Really, the, there's nothing special about this other than you need uh, specific parts. And since I'm a collector, I just kind of have these parts. So two extra crown races and a compression ring but it, it's a it's a specific type of compression ring and it's something that I just found on a uh, an old threadless headset that on a bike that was completely trash and you'll see that a little bit later now the then actually there it is it's right there and you can see that it, it's really long and deep eh. It's just one of those things that fits into the uh, the old cage bearings a lot better. So I'm not, I'm not really going to explain exactly what I'm doing here because essentially all I'm doing is just taking apart a headset, which is, it's pretty generic. And it's the fork here that's going to cause a problem to begin with. And that's why we need an, an extra crown race. Well, we'll just watch here, just put the grease in, grease everything off, put our cage bearings in, and I put some grease seals underneath ju just to take up some of that slack. And here we have that extra crown race, which is going to fit on that other crown race simply because it's too small for the bearing cage. Now I'm going to put a grease seal on the top. Now these are grease seals, dust dust seals, whatever you want to call them. I'm just going to put that on top of the bearing. And here's my second crown race. And here's that compression ring. You can see how it, it the way that it's shaped is, it's a little bit odd. And it really, it's designed for a cage bearing. I've only ever really seen one like this once, and it was basically off a bike just like this. So, I don't know, I'm not even sure you can buy these. The spacers just fit right over, just like building a regular threadless headset. Throw your stem on, throw your top cap on. preload the bearings as best we can since the bike is on the stand. What we'll have to do is put it on the floor to just double check that there's no play in the headset. Make sure those pinch bolts are tight, but not too tight in case we have to loosen it or just, you know, adjust it. Before we do anything further, we're just going to clean it off. And now we have it on the floor, and I had to do a little bit of adjustment here on the preload. I had to take some off. I'll just tighten up the stem pinch bolts again. There we go, we'll give it a quick test. There's no play in that headset, and that's it. It's that simple. Uh, I, I hope this video helps you out, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.